here's the key takeaway from this video. If there's anything out there that you want to learn, just do it like the freaking Nike sign. Because once you do that, you're going to gain experience and then you're going to know the right questions to ask. And you're going to grow in the right direction because you're going to make mistakes. But when you make those mistakes, you will be able to identify them and move accordingly. Just do it. That has been my approach for making manga and comics, YouTube, drawing in general, animation, digital painting as you're seeing right here, and website making. Because just like the digital painting you're seeing me do right now, which is something I'm trying to improve at, I'm just like going for it and just like trying to do it and looking up resources and putting that together. And that that mentality, that mindset is what I want you guys to adopt because it ties into what we're going to do in this video is where I'm going to basically make my website a white manga TV website from scratch and I've never done it before and I'm just gonna jump into it and just do it and thanks to certain things like Wix it's made it a whole lot easier for everybody anyone whether you have any coding experience or not to actually pull it off full disclosure I have partnered up with Wix to bring this video for you guys and it was great for me because this is something that I've always wanted to do or wanted to learn or like wanted to take my own advice and, and just, you know, jump in and just do it. Wix basically brings together beauty and advanced technology to bring you stunning websites. And you can use Wix, whoever you are, to build a stronger web presence. Wix allows you to promote your business, showcase your art, put an online store, and so much more. And regardless of whether you have coding experience or not, anyone can pull this off. Doesn't even matter what your business is, it's all in one website for you. You can just go in and go ham. You can build highly customizable, robust, and creative websites. It's all up to you whether you want to go very technical with it or you want to have some kind of an assisted experience to creating it. It's all up to you. If you're a vet, Wix is for you, if you're not, Wix is for you too. The tools are drag and drops, there are free templates to use, even free hosting, but you can obviously upgrade to more premium plans. And if you wanna try Wix out, you can go to wix.com slash go slash white manga or use the link in the description. Uh, you can check out the website that I created, the white manga tv.com, again, all from scratch. And I'll show you guys how I put everything together in this video here. Again, for me, sometimes it's about being versatile and you know doing things that I have not done trying to learn new things and just starting and just jumping into it and you know seeing what happens and over time being being open to evolve and get better so for the rest of the video you're gonna see me basically do like walkthrough of building this website and you know picking like say you know the right illustrations to show and things like that and putting that all together on the website so the website is practically going to be this kind of like portfolio hybrid with you know my youtube presence and youtube videos and stuff like that i've always wanted like a personal website that could serve as a portfolio or something like a newsletter where people can get news about me and things like things of that nature and tie into like the other cool stuff i i think i do at least like you know making youtube videos for you guys and making comics the list goes on one tip to help that I always apply when creating anything, not just websites, is kind of like before jumping in or just as you're jumping in to build whatever you want to build, you know, study your favorites and see how you can execute similar ideas in unique ways and seeing like what new, what fresh idea you could bring to the table just to stand out. But it's it's fine to gain inspiration from other places. So in this case with websites, you go look at your favorite websites and see, you know, what you like, what you what you want to take away and see how you can translate that to your own language. How does that work for you, your style, what you represent? And, you know, you go from there. Again, I apply that to everything. Just like this painting here, I looked at a bunch of other paintings. I looked at, you know, real photos. And again, the character here is Damon from my series, Bokasi. And so I'm trying to use, take this opportunity here to do more paintings because I don't do enough digital paintings uh, versus like cell shading anime style illustrations. And I really want to improve on my cell shading game. Um, I do think I need to go get some brushes, some specific brushes as well. But it's one of those things where if I don't do stuff like this, I wouldn't know to go get specific brushes. I wouldn't know to figure out that, all right, there's this filter or this blending mode that I need to apply. So it, it, it kind of ties into everything. And you have those kind of questions or thoughts come to you as you just jump in to do whatever it is you want to do. I had the same thoughts when I was you know, starting in animation. I was like, oh, I, I wanna do this actual thing. And then with the in this digital age, 
making use of the internet and there's a lot of online resources and people that are out there ready to help you with blog articles or video tutorials that you can just easily learn from and boom you have what you're looking for probably gonna put this illustration I'm painting on the website uh, so I'll basically update the website with this illustration and let's just go into how making the website came about so right from the jump Wix is gonna ask a couple questions and it's gonna make sure that your whole experience is tailored as best as possible to what you actually want to achieve options here for business an online store portfolio CV if you do music photography if you're a graphic designer you just want to do blogs beauty the list goes on and it continues to ask you a couple questions and as long as you answer it's gonna tailor that whole experience to best serve you you can choose to let the ADI create a website for you or you can create it from scratch by yourself by choosing templates but you can go the easy way and go through the ADI and despite it being easy the end result will still have a professional touch to it instead of have a couple questions you pick the one that best serves you sometimes it can get a little uh, a little torn because it's like hmm, which one best serves my mind just a youtuber YouTube personality comic creator comic youtuber well, what the hell am I <laughs> took a second to figure that out but I think once you understand what type of website you want to build it becomes really easy especially if you just want to have a portfolio feel which is what I was going for I wanted to do something that showcased my artwork let people know what my style was and what I was into showcase more artwork based off of what type of you say commissions I would like to get so I showcase more of that but I still wanted to have elements of you know my online presence and obviously social links to other websites but also uh, you know what I do here on YouTube here you get to pick things that you want associated like uh, features that you want your website to have and you know online store you know booking you for events uh, having a chat feature or forum the list goes on pick a name you can actually pick a uh, logo and what Wix can do is based off of that logo it can give you really cool options for what color schemes would work best add your social accounts so now you get to pick a theme and I'm gonna have the website pick a palette for me from there you get even more options and then you can look through them you know have a little scrolling in there uh, you pick what you want and then you can edit from there so it's almost like it's based off of all the information you've provided it would create options that it feels you would like the best and then you can pick and then edit from there really really easy and straightforward the editing user face is also very easy to maneuver no matter what your level is when it comes to creating websites whether you're a vet or a complete beginner and then from here it's giving us a couple you know things that are generic here but you can go in and edit them and make them more personalized so we have the section we have the navigation bar at the top we're gonna edit that and then you get more settings to work with sliding in from the left see how you can you know view all of the uh, social links here and uh, you can choose to hide or show whichever ones you want and they will appear uh, you know as is and you can rearrange them however you like but they'll appear on the navigation bar you know using this particular template On the page, you can add sections. You can take away sections if you feel there are too uh, too many sections here. You can create all new pages and maybe move sections from this home page and move them to that page. And then, you know, for now, for example, here on this home page, there's a contact us section at the bottom. You can delete that and then recreate it in a whole new page and have a link to that page on here. General rule of thumb is you want to kind of have your home page link to everything in some way everything or every feature on the website here we have a part for selected works and I um, this is the part for like galleries and then it has some stuff already in there but I'm gonna go in and change all of that and put it put in my own actual illustrations and maybe comic pages and we'll go from there also great thing is that even when you're doing all this stuff even if you're finished with your website or even before you launch the website, you can always come back and upgrade, update, evolve your website and allow it to grow. You don't have to nail it down perfectly the first time. 
but as long as it's like fully functional and then you can just over time keep making it better and better and better so with this template you kind of have I kind of have a lot of things for a lot of pages that would normally go into navigation bar and because there's so many it just has more at the end but again if you move things around then you can organize what pages you want to highlight and so here's an about uh, about me section and then you'll just go directly there to that page and you can navigate through all of this without having to click on the actual buttons or icons or links on the page that you're editing on but you can you know navigate through everything uh, on the using the settings that slide through the artist bio you know eventually we're going to change that image put something again make the website as personalized as possible you'll be able to just go hover above that image and just right click and more options will appear on the right on the, on the left and you'll be able to you know change that and um, even create a pool of uh, assets to pull from when you're doing that but again for each page you can also change the look so we're customizing the section here and seeing if we can you know switch it up a bit make it more appealing Right now, just focusing a little more on the header section. All of this stuff, by the way, I did on the first day. So again, proving the whole my whole point of the interface being very easy to maneuver through, very easy to use. Nothing too complicated here. Everything is very self-explanatory. So if you're looking at this and feeling that oh, it's a little bit overwhelming, it is not. Once you once you hop into it, so I think it's just it's the same thing with drawing sometimes. And when uh, you see a drawing or illustration that's just too complex, if you just have that uh, mindset of just just do and keep in mind that you're just going to get better at it or you're just going to even improve whatever you're working on. Um, if you have that mindset, it will help you grow. Because everything you see me do is me figuring it out on the first try. And I have no like full on website experience besides doing stuff with easy user faces like this. You don't have to know how to code to make all this stuff happen. Again, fooling around with alternate ideas for how I want that navigation to look at the top. So I want the icon on the left. And then once you go to the icon, you can edit the icon again to increase the size. And also that plus sign allows you add new sections to it, but I want my home page to be very simple. I'm, I'm actually going to take away things from this home page here. I think well, I'm going with a more minimalistic approach. I believe when you're doing these uh, websites, it's always good to have a uh, base idea in mind. And I wanted to go for something very minimalistic, but still looking professional. Uh, I wanted to go with that approach and not have everything be too congested. I want to have people scrolling for a long time on any page eventually we're gonna go in and start changing all the images these are like default images and that Wix just found for you just because I said like artists so it's just gonna put that stuff in there in case I don't have any images at the time but you can always do that so here you see me I'm deleting sections from uh, from from the website deleting features and pages from the website that I don't want or at least don't want right now you can always add them back later if time calls for it so if I want to start selling things on this website I can come here add more sections or add create a new page if I want and add sections to then start featuring you know what I want to sell or new content or whatever the case may be if I want a chat feature I can come back and add that and the list goes on so here me being the YouTube person I'm trying to put in more uh, of that feel and adding embedding certain aspects of my YouTube channel on the website. So essentially adding a feed. So this way, anytime I upload uh, a video to the YouTube page, it automatically updates on my website. So if anyone goes to the website and they're, they somehow access the playlist that's here, it will automatically, I can even make it have an autoplay feature on there. So if you go to the website, the video automatically starts playing. Or, you know, if they find the, the playlist, it will just be updated automatically. Again, if all this stuff is new to you, again, just have that patience and just pick a period in during the day and just focus on it. Read what you have to read. Everything is very easy to understand and self-explanatory. And don't be afraid to, you know, push that button, see what that does. And trust me, you probably would know already just by reading it, uh, whatever the title is. But 
it, it, it's it's fun to experiment. So this was actually fun to do since I've always wanted to have a website like this. And um, if it, if it's something you want to do, it can easily be done. To here, there's a video feature on the homepage right there, and I'm just gonna pick a layout that I want. I hit on design when I'm on that section and I can you know change the section design if I'm not pleased with what I'm seeing I can pick one with thumbnails to other videos at the bottom I can pick one that just shows one video uh, leaving them some kind of menu icon to click click on for you know more options uh, see you know, video video info if I want to give them video info the title of the video if necessary and you have like a list of options to choose from. So you can also, I can also do it where I have sections that are showing different YouTube channels. So in this case, I you know have just one to show. And we're just going to go to White Manga. And you kind of keep mess, keep messing with it until it's what you want. I delete some sections that I know I I don't want to have anything to do with, at least not yet. Again, you can rename some of the things on the navigations so rather than about me uh, I'll change it to say origins which I think is a cooler thing again you can personalize the whole website to just whatever you want really you have that freedom to be creative you know tying into whole you know the whole comic book thing superhero stuff so it makes sense like if I wanted I could rename contact to bat signal you know what I mean but at the same time, you don't want to be, get too carried away with it because you still want things that people understand just at first glance. So contact, I'll probably leave as is. This member section, want nothing to do with it. Go and delete it. You can delete it by you know hovering above it uh, in the preview as uh, part of this uh, of your screen and just hover above the section and you find a delete button in one of the uh, one of the icons. Or you can just go to the sex uh, settings on the right and just delete it from there. So I'm deleting the members area as well. Just things that I don't need for now. So the, the website's just going to showcase my artwork for now, as well as YouTube stuff, and then have information on me, links to um, my social links, and how you can contact me. That's it. And then as time goes on, the website can evolve to be more suited to what you want it to do. If it's like a truly portfolio type website, then you want to curate your work and pick the best ones to... Uh, put on the website and to attract people who would want that kind of work for whatever reason, whether it be a commission or hire you for a gig or whatever the case may be, or the, the site could evolve to be something that's more towards uh, my whole YouTube life, I guess, and uh, be more video oriented, and that can happen as well. Or just sell merch, the list goes on, and you can allow your website grow as you grow along with it. So changing some of the text right there. To just view artist portfolio then you can replace the artwork so this is where you start to uh, upload your assets right and then you can upload as much as you want right all that I can put all the illustrations I want I can draw from Instagram if you uh, connect your Instagram uh, account to the website or whatever account it may be deviant not the list goes on and you can connect it and draw directly from there versus uh, your computer which I think is really cool so I'm picking that illustration and I'm uploading it you can click on multiple at once I can connect my DeviantArt and pick illustrations from there to put into like my folder for assets so that it'll, it'll basically be some kind of storage where I pick assets from to use to design the website. And then I can use these illustrations to populate my portfolio. Again, here I'm also playing with the opacity of the image so that the text can show. It's almost like I have a black bar behind it and then or a white one. It just depends and uh, reduce the opacity of the illustration so that the text can be more visible and text right there of white manga TV and view view artist portfolio so probably go with black and then reduce the opacity 
and then the text becomes more visible. I can mess even further with the text if I want wanted to, but not necessary. I have this section here, which is uh, basically a link to, or just kind of like a preview of the portfolio that I just don't want there. So I'm just going to remove it altogether. So right now the homepage just has a cool illustration, you know, explaining what where they're at, link to links at the top and also links in front of the illustration to my portfolio, a video portal embed thing to my YouTube channel, and then a, a, a form where they can subscribe, kind of like a newsletter, and that's all on my homepage. That's it. Kind of going for the simplistic approach. I'm going to add my social links, make those visible at the bottom as well. Now on the portfolio page, you're going to edit these. And so all these images here have nothing to do with me. So they're going to go bye bye. So you hit on click on manage and then you have all these illustrations here and you can see the numbers in there to indicate your order. But I'm going to delete all of them, populate them with the illustrations from my, you know, asset storage called site images. And then, you know, we rearrange it however we like. And that's it's that's it's that easy, guys. So we're uploading from the site files. We click on the images we want to actually be in there, and then we go from there. Here, I've clicked on all of them, and I've just put them all in there. So I can then go in and rearrange, give each illustration a title and a description, a link if necessary, and then you just work that way. I can also have it link to say you know the actual issue. So that illustration is actually the cover I used for. Uh, the back of volume two, but I also used it for uh, a sad damn issue cover for, I believe, issue 65. And I can have the illustration link directly to where people can get it if they want, get that particular digital magazine issue if they want it. I have a blog section, which I will probably remove. And then here in the artist bio, which is kind of like origin story, I'm just going to delete everything that's there and just replace it with something, you know, more, I guess, me. And then I will link the learn more button at the bottom to where they can literally learn more. Most things in um, text, uh, illustrations, logos, all those, you can actually turn them into links to, you know, somewhere else on your website or a completely different website. It's completely up to you. But you kind of want to control the travelings of any viewer of your website. You want to kind of control what they see when they see it and stuff like that as best as you can in a very creative way. And so you can redirect them to places you want them to go to. And that could be other parts, other sections of your website, other parts, other pages of your website, or completely different websites. Similar to like the social links, your those links are linking them away from your website to those pages, to say your Twitter page, YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. And so I'll continue, I'll personalize this, change the image there, which is just a weird image there, retitle certain things like, you know, artist bio, I'll probably say my origin story. And then we just go from there, do the same thing here with contact page. You can make things visible and make things invisible. It's up to you for what you want to do. So the contact page will have like weird things that maybe we don't want there and we just remove those. And then for the contact page, we're going to add a section for them to say, leave a message or, you know, things of that nature, name email address or stuff like that or their actual message and then from here on out it's just a bunch of kind of figuring everything out experimenting with things keep playing with it until you have it exactly how you want it to be or as best as you can possibly make it at the time and then you go from there and that's really it it's just a bunch of experimenting making sure everything works properly all the links work properly and then you can just go from there. And once you're once you're satisfied with what you have, you just publish what you have. And that's it really. I'd like to give a big shout out to Wix for giving me this opportunity. I'd like to thank the one and a half people who made it to the end of this video and everybody who's watched this video. Please don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and Detroit smash that bell so you stay notified each time I upload absolutely anything. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff, including a new Twitch that I'm going to start, you know, you know, working towards and raising the quality of the content that's going to be on there. And you guys can also leave ideas for the things you would like to see uh, me do on Twitch. One of the key things I'm going to do is like, you know, live stream me making Apple Black Volume 3 for those who know what I'm talking about. For those who don't know, I'm the creator 
uh, artist and illustrator of Apple Black. Links to everything you could possibly need will be in the description. Big shout out to my patrons as well. None of this would be possible if you guys didn't support. So that is very much appreciated. Check out my other videos. Hope you enjoyed this. It's Wet Manga, and I'm out. Just do it!